start another one just so that we've got that sort of we've got that hour um, and then this will get posted on YouTube um, and others can watch and you can watch as well but um, and I'm happy to stick around most Mondays after this one the IDT hangout will start populating the space um, on Mondays at 8 and we can continue in that direction I think I think I sent the invite out, but I might have forgotten to send it to more than one spot today. So um, I'm not, I'm just looking to see if anybody's waiting in some other space for me. I don't see any messages. <laughs> um, just let me just check to make sure that there's not people sitting in some other Zoom room. No. Okay. Okay. Um, so, anybody else have any uh, thoughts? You guys ready to move on? Or Lindsay, you're still hanging there. Are you doing okay, Lindsay? Because you were having some issues with Dropbox too, right? Um, yeah, apparently I didn't do the permalink thing and I'm trying to follow the instructions and I just can't get oh, it to work. Screen. Hang on one sec. See, everybody's in the front row in Zoom. You gotta, <laughs> yeah, definitely share your screen. Uh... And the permalink isn't a huge big thing, by the way, it just makes it easier for everybody. So there's your- Is this working? Yep, yep, it's working. So- Okay. Um, so I'm at the part where it's yeah. more info, go to oh. info, tagging, and there's no way for me to drop that um, oh, away. Yeah, so, go, so um, let's look at your Firefox version. I'm in Firefox. Okay, let's look at the place that you're writing. This is a reading version, right? Because you, 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 you read in dropbox.com. You want to write in file colon slash slash slash. Have you changed things? Right. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so see file colon slash 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 in the URL? Yeah, yeah that's where you want to write. Hang on, I have two of them open. Yeah, I know, and that's also dangerous. It looks good because neither of them have unsafe changes. So close one of them. Yeah. You can just close that tab in the upper right hand corner of the tab. Oh, not there. Yeah. I keep getting the stupid window sharing thing coming up in my way. Yeah. Um, yeah. From, yeah. From Dropbox. You mean, yeah, it's annoying. So go okay. ahead. Yeah. So go ahead and close those extra tabs in Firefox. So these were just the instructions that I was following. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, apparently I was doing it in. Yeah, so this is the part that I was at. I got to tagging mm -hmm. and it would say that I don't have tags. You No tiddlers are tagged. But there are tags. Okay. No tiddlers are tagged with about me. Okay, so click on the tag. Oh, okay. So... All right. I understand what it's saying now. It's not that there aren't tags in the tiddler. It's that there are no tags labeled about me. Mm -hmm. Okay. So click on. So is that the issue? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the issue is. <laughs> um, I think I think what you you mean, Steve, is like there are no there are no other tiddlers that are tagged with about me, right? right? Yeah, correct. That's why there's nothing. Oh, okay. Sorry. So, so click on design there. No. Oh, you want the design to, uh, yeah. yeah. And click on design right under it, the first word. So navigate to the tiddler called design and scroll down and there's nothing in design, right? But do, a, do info on this tiddler. And tagging. And this tiddler is tagged to two tiddlers. Okay, so the word design shows up as a tag in about me and IDT. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's the relationship between design and about me. 
Okay, so go back to about me. You can click on it right there. Anywhere, and just edit the tiddler about me. And um, despite um, some issues about it or questions about it, we're going to use camel case again. So take that space out because you're going to find it's much cleaner to write a permanent. So save that. And so what we're doing is we're doing editing or writing. So save this tiddler. Okay, now it's good. Okay, so now go back to your reading version of this tiddler, which is going to be in another browser, I hope, like Chrome or Safari or something. Yeah, and um, there it is. That will work. The L. Johnson one and reload. Oh, that's still a file open. Nope. Um, what are your Dropbox icon? My Dropbox is really annoying to use. I, I think she has it open in another tab in Firefox there. Mm-hmm. <sighs> yeah, um, but what I was, what I wanted to go, go back to that, just stand right there. Okay, it's index. Okay, so go back to your Firefox from Chrome. And do the drop down on the Firefox and just linger there for a second. All right, hang on one sec. Yeah. So you want to be in Chrome or in Firefox right now? In Chrome. Okay. And linger on the Dropbox. And the first file, that's that one. And you've already shared it, right? Mm hmm Okay. So when you do it that way, what that does is opens it as a file, okay? Which is exactly what you don't want to do. So let's close that tab. And if you linger on the fire on the um, Dropbox thing again, and click share this link, and you want the share link, okay? Now paste that link. It's already in your buffer. Now paste that link, okay? And that's the wrong kind of links, but we're almost there, right? Okay. Um, uh oh, where are you going? I can't see anything because here we go. Move that. It just says I only get share link. Yep, that's fine. Yeah, I think it, it copies to your clipboard automatically, yeah, so you should just have to paste it into the address just bar. Paste, but don't hit return after you paste. That's, I didn't paste anything. Yeah, so go ahead and paste, but don't hit return. Okay. So that's the link that's close to the link we want, but see where it says www.dropbox.com? We want to replace mm -hmm. that with dl.dropboxuser.com, which you can do automatically. You can do it by hand. There's any number of places to do it. So you can get rid of the www and call it dl. And after Dropbox, add the words user content, no spaces. Um, after Dropbox, before the period. Whoops, sorry. Up, 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 back, 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 back. Before the period. Oh, oh. Yep, user content. Oh, it's fine. And don't hit return, copy that link. Never lose it, now hit return. Okay, so this is the Dropbox serve version of your Tiddler. Okay. Um, and, and notice it's got an about me Tiddler under the 25th January with no spaces, but click that. Click the about me, right? One more down, there you go, okay. So that's what we want to share a permalink to. So okay. Drop down toolbar and perma, 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 perma. This is the permalink. Okay, you've got a permalink out there. Okay, so you've got a permalink. Copy that from the buffer up top. Copy that, and that's what you paste. It looks like you've got design right open. Oh, okay. So when you click permalink it, it drops the permalink into your address bar. It doesn't yeah. just copy it to the clipboard. No. Okay. No, it doesn't. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's an intro. I don't believe, I don't know how to change that behavior. Um, so you're doing about me. So you want to find that somewhere, you know, it's, um, I don't know where I thought I had the permalink. Here we go. Oh, okay. 
but actually the one that you're in now is for creating tabs instead of about me. It's the next exercise down. You know, uh, in the, yeah. 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 Creating the tags one. Yeah. You're, you're behind, you're on the about me. Creating about me tiddler. There's a, it's going to be right there in the middle of getting, you had it. Yeah. There. Um, no. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It, there's so many places. I mean, one of the things that happens is you get lost in, in you know, you get lost. You About go. me, Carmen. That'll probably work. Okay, okay. Google form. Um, uh, and right on the, that's the, yeah, there you go. Did you paste that in the permalink box or did that come up already? It looks like that's correct. Okay. No, yep. I pasted that. Okay. Yeah. It, it, my screen was lagging, so I didn't see it pasted. Yep. Perfect. Okay. So does that help you sort of get over that spot? Yeah. Yeah. That was a, what's weird about Tiddly Wiki is it's a wiki, so it's collaborative, but it's not collaborative. <laughs> um, we can't really write in the same space unless we share the same wiki, and that's just a recipe for disaster. So we're really writing in parallel, so it's really not collaborative at all. And um, I haven't figured out an easier way than this to share so that you guys can actually see each other's links. So I'll, I'll, keep, um, I'll keep trying to improve this, um, but there's always those links that you can get to and find other people's work. So, um, okay. All right. Thanks. Thanks for having us go through that because I know it's like more times I get to something more than you do. Hey, Lindsay, I'm looking at your one at the moment. I can see that now. It's come through nicely on the Google Forms. Yeah. The Google Forms, there's, they, they, that's about me. Um, yeah, you have, to, you have to refresh it. Okay. Yeah. It yeah it's come through nicely. I can see it now. I don't know that you have to refresh it or not. Um, and the reason it doesn't show up in recent is because you actually didn't change anything. It, um, hmm. Click on, see the link, Google yeah, form. So if you click on that, it probably showed up in there. Uh, nope, I guess that's not it. No, that's weird. Oh, there's a I link. refresh the page. Um, it didn't show up. Oh, click on, see a direct link to Google sheet. Click on that. The, it takes five minutes for that. Um, oh, okay, right, 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 because it's a public. Uh, okay, yeah, right, there right. it is. I, I got a, you're right, right, because, yeah, what I'm doing, you go back to, to design right um, on the left, and you can see what I'm doing there. You can edit the code for that. So open this tiddler. Okay. Never let a moment pass. Open it? Open the tiddler, yeah. Um, edit the tiddler, sorry. Um, so the code for this, yeah, okay. um, you can see where then you can close the menu, but you can see where I'm getting the Google Forms, and that's just a link to Google Form, and then yeah, then then there's an iframe SRC, so I'm I'm putting in the published spreadsheet inside of an iframe, um, and then you see the direct link to Google Sheet, and that's another link. So that's how I'm getting that to show up. Um, okay, iframes are pretty cool if you know and if you know about iframes a little bit. It's not terribly difficult. Um, and you can you can copy and paste that code and replace the SRC with the URL if you're on TV and it will show up that. So one of the things that you do consistently in Tiddly is open up Tiddler's look at code and see what's going on and copy code and take it from other people. I mean, that's the reason that we share spaces or Tiddly Wikis with each other so that you can steal each other's code. Um, hey, Steve. Yeah, sure. The previous person who posted before Lindsay was Tyler Humphreys. Is that person online at the moment? I didn't see Tyler in tonight. Oh, okay, because uh, the link posted there is not working. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's see. Why yeah. isn't it working? Tyler's is, um, click on that. And um, um, yeah, and that's what, now, I bet you there's, 
not a space between the word empty and HTML. And I bet you if you got rid of all that after the word empty, Lindsay. Mm -hmm. Lindsay, on that URL, you can see the URL in front of you. Get rid of all that stuff after the word empty. I don't even see the word empty. Oh. There it is. And, oh, oh not, not all that. Whoops, hit a undo. <laughs> Get rid of everything up to the dot. Because if you think about what he did is he downloaded a file called empty.html in space and now hit return. It was worth a shot. <laughs> yeah, so, um, so I don't know what, um, yeah, nothing we can do about that. Um, so I'll let so when you, when you have class, do you go over this in your, your, um, your class on campus? So the class on, um, when do I have class? Wednesday mornings at nine and Wednesday mornings at 11 for an hour. And it's just like this workshop, um, except anybody who wants to can come and do the same thing in person. Anybody who wants to can come and do the same thing on screen. Um, so at nine o'clock on Wednesday and 11 o'clock on Wednesday, I'll be sitting in this room at SUNY Poly in the Utica campus, except for tomorrow or this week, but some weeks I'll be sitting in room and other weeks I'll be online. So I'll be anywhere, but people can be in that room and, and there's like, whoever wants to come can come and whoever it's up to you. You're all welcome anytime. And then at 10 o'clock on Wednesdays, um, Jeremy Rustin and I will be on zoom and we're going to talk to each other and have a conversation about, um, important things of life. No, I mean about hypertext, which is the important things of life. So we're gonna, and then we'll have <laughs> other guests, and you guys are welcome to join in as well. Um, but we're gonna, okay. we're gonna kind of have to, we're gonna feel our way into it. And um, the topic for Wednesday, I'll probably change the name of the topic soon because I like mine better. Um, so I think I'm gonna call it hypertext in the wild again, which is what it was called originally, and now it's called something about learning, experiencing hypertext in your everyday life. I don't know. Um, and so we'll talk about that and then I'll probably reshift some of the conversations moving forward. So um, you're welcome to come on Wednesday mornings. That's a long answer to a short question. Okay. That answered my question. Yeah. Are you ever on campus? Um, I'm on campus on Thursdays, but I can usually join in um, anytime I want on my laptop. I can just scoot out of my office for a little while so it's not a big deal okay yeah come come on thursday morning from 9 to 12 it'll be fun or wednesday morning uh, sorry wednesday mornings from 9 to 12. <laughs> sorry yeah. okay that's a long time right <laughs> well i don't know if i can scoot out that long but i can probably do an hour okay sure anytime yep uh, other questions or ideas other questions or ideas folks want to get on the uh you can stop sharing your screen whenever you're ready there you go um, and we can wrap up. Jessica, you doing okay? <laughs> okay. James, you fine? Sean, okay? He's busy. Yep, very well. He won't talk. That's okay. Kenneth, you good? Yep, I'm good. Okay. Kenneth, you're going to have fun with this. I can tell already because you're already starting to play with the design element. So you, did you notice already that? Yeah, I... I have this nagging urge to uh, modify anything and everything I can kind of get my hands on. You were born to tiddlywinky. <laughs> I guess so, yeah. Because it's infinitely modifiable. Um, there's yep. no shortage of what you can do. And so I saw that you already started playing with the CSS and that's great. Yep. So yeah, if you started making color palettes, you'd probably be able to sell them in class. Excellent. Color palettes are, color palettes are quite annoying to do. There's so many colors, so. Yep. Yeah, anybody who's interested in color palettes, start playing with that. But really, I welcome it. It's great to do that, but it's you know, the, the, the value and the, not the value, but the, the intention is really to, to think about how you write when you're writing for something that somebody's going to be reading in a way that gives them the power that the tiddlywinky readers have. And in some respects, that's why the design right tiddlywinky this is also an excuse, but that's why it's a little confusing um, because it really is meant to show how complex a text can become. Um, and you can keep digging into that and you'll keep finding more and more stuff because I've been writing at it for a while 
Um, but, you know, again, look at the code, copy the code, use it yourself, and start playing around. So the more you play, the happier you'll be. So um, thanks all for, for coming and hanging out, and we'll do this again next Monday. Okay, take care. See you all later. Yeah, thanks a lot for that, Steve. That was really cool. Well, good. Thank you, and thanks for joining in. So New Zealand, right? Yep, that's the one. And uh, the hum you can hear on my end is um, it's my fan behind me because you might be in the middle of a blizzard up there, but down here we're in the middle of a heat wave. Oh. We're about eighty-eight, about about eighty degrees Fahrenheit down here. Oh, okay. No, no. <laughs> you're right. Yeah, and thank you for thank you for pointing out that I shouldn't call it winter spring. So I, if you notice, I. <laughs> Not a problem. All the best. Thanks for that, Steve. And I'm looking forward to seeing the video because, of course, I couldn't see what you were all doing there. Um, so uh, I'll be I'll be keeping an eye out for the video soon. Should be up on on YouTube very soon. We'll see. Okay. Take care. Awesome. Hey, thanks a lot, Steve. Yep. James, you're going to hang out for a long second. Yeah. You want